Alrighty, what is going on today? It's Tyler Films here again. And we're going to be starting a uh, new weekly series on this channel. It is going to be on the uh, the day, the upload day closest to a weekend for me. Since my upload schedule is kind of weird, it's every third day. So that's kind of the plan. It's going to be whichever day is closest to the weekend. And this series is essentially just going to be me talking about random topics that are going on in the now and what just pretty much I mean pretty much anything and also good news as you guys can hear my dog is flipping out in the background as always it seems but I believe I got the uh, random breath sounds taken care of finally to where you guys are not gonna hear me uh, mouth breathing every episode to where whenever it's quiet it's gonna be quiet it was a pretty simple thing to figure out. But let's get right into today's topic. So today we're going to be talking about the Area 51 raid. So somehow you guys have not heard about this situation at all and are just completely in the dark. You've been living under a rock. Because this, this story is everywhere. I mean, most people know about it. But if you don't, essentially, it's a Facebook group, more of an event. I'm not really sure how Facebook works. I don't really get on Facebook too much. But it is an event set up to where you storm Area 51, where they're just going to, I guess, attempt to walk in with a bunch of people and see, <laughs> see them aliens, according to the Facebook page. But as of right now, nearly 2 million people have said they're going to go. Now the odds of 2 million people showing up are little to none. But the real question is, it seems, I mean, I imagine at least a few people are going to show up. And that's where the real, the real problem is going to come into play. So according to the, from one scene, it shows that they're going to be not too uh, not too shy to pull the trigger on arresting and prosecuting people for trespassing with this event. And I can't blame them. I mean, you cannot walk onto just any Air Force base and, you know, <laughs> assume that you're going to get in. I mean, I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, there will obviously be consequences for that but I mean we're gonna have to see I'm really excited the event's supposed to take place on September 20th and I'm really curious how many people end up showing up and the sad thing is it's probably gonna be more than we'd expect it is a possibility that a decent amount of people can show up to this thing and that means that a decent amount of people will probably be arrested <laughs> I mean, according to the signs that have been posted around Area 51, well not Area 51, the uh, Nellis Air Force Base, I believe it is, Nellis? Let's see what it, yeah, Nellis Air Force Base. So apparently around the entire perimeter, there are signs that say that government officials have the right to fire on anybody attempting to trespass or, you know, be a threat to this base. Now, I'd imagine Air Force officials aren't going to act on that with these situations. I imagine they're going to have a little bit more leniency towards this situation. But, I mean, we will see. I, I mean, I don't know. A little background on Area 51 since it seems to be a little bit misinformed, to say the least, you know. So it, is, it was officially a testing range and test sites for the U.S. Air Force to, I mean, just test new aircraft and all sorts of stuff. And if you want my best guess, that is probably the relation that the two, that, I mean, to UFOs that they have. I mean, there's probably some extremely advanced stuff that we have no clue about, have no clue how it works. I mean, that they had to keep it, you know, secret for, you know, national security purposes. And to my opinion, that probably correlates most of the, uh, 
UFO sightings in that region. But, I mean, if you want my abstract opinion on aliens, I mean, I imagine it's highly freaking probable that there are, there's something in this universe that we don't know much about. I mean, it is impossible. As you see by this game, there is apparently an infinite number of galaxies. And for there not to be a single other advanced form of life, that just seems way too improbable for me personally. But I don't know. Let me let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section. And let me know if you guys enjoy this a little bit different series compared to my normal. Like I said, I plan on posting these once a week. And along with, you know, my normal uploads that are during the weekdays along with the one live stream a week. So that's the only change to this. Let me know what other topics you guys would like for me to talk about. And I will be catching you guys next time.